this week's fighter is going to be Duck the Luck. Now, he's a very awesome villain because he's a very interesting villain because his effect is based on luck. He's a he's more of a high risk, high rewards character. So he is a character that if you know for those players who are feeling extremely lucky, like kind of like our last character last week of again Hachi, he's similar but for villains and he's pretty also he's also pretty devastating. So let's get right to the battle. So here we have Duck the Luck. We can see here he has his own equipment, bandana of good fortune, and he's a villain and he doesn't have to wait for his turn to use his effect. And his zeal is seven. So his effect says luck factor. During the battle phase, before you roll, call odds or even. If you call it right, double the result of your roll. If you call it wrong, plus one star to your fighter. Wow. That's crazy. So you have a 50-50 chance of actually doubling any result you have as long as you call odds or even before you roll. Interesting. His other effect is lucky seven comeback. Whenever duck the whatever duck has four stars faced up during the end phase roll the dice if you roll the seven minus two stars on duck wow and it doesn't even say how many times you can do it that means you can keep doing it as long as you keep getting seven if you're going to get knocked out that's incredible but let's see what his uh, equipment says again he has the requirement where equip a fighter named duck comes into play with this card in your hand minus two stars on your fighter and then it's removed from play. So this helps balance out the scenario of, let's say you call it wrong turn one, you have one star minus, but then if you lose that same result, that battle, you would take another star for that. Thus you take two stars. I'll show that on, when we're gonna get to the battlefield. Just one last thing. You have to wait one turn and you're only allowed one equipment of this equipment of good fortune. So let's get right to it. So he's on the battlefield. Okay, so now, so now, uh, oh yeah, now we're fighting Jensen. So he is 60 zeal, so he's going to roll first. Jensen rolls six. Okay, so I'm going to call even. And I get an 11. Now, you see, even though I called it wrong, I will always flip one star indicating that I called it wrong, but I still beat his roll, so therefore he takes a star. He draws his card, he drew speed up, he rolls three. One, two, three. And since he's the only player, he's just drawing one more card. He draws ha. Ah, twister. Cool. So that's turn one. Now he's going to roll again. Jensen rolls a six. I'm gonna call odds. And I got an odd. Awesome. I got a seven. So now since I called it, I instantly doubled that result. So his puny little six who has no match for well his puny little roll is no match for my 14 so he instantly takes one star for that so he flips his star he drew his card he drew wow ultra hard so now the game is reset the game is reset so we just showcased his effect naturally where you call it right let's go let's fast forward and see what happens when you actually have four stars to face up. Since we fast forward, he's at three stars now. So Jensen's going to roll a 10 with a block. Wow, that's pretty big. And Duck Deluxe, I'm gonna call even. So I got a nine, I got it wrong, and I'm going to flip a star. I would have been KO'd, but I have my equipment, so I will use it. It's removed from play, I minus two stars. So nothing happens since he blocks. Jensen's going to roll. His six, Duck Deluxe going to roll even. I roll an eight, so he flips a star, he draws a card, he drew Earthquake, he's gonna give it to me. Cause he's being, well, so no, this goes on to him so he, since he has the least amount, sorry. So now, Jensen rolls, he's gonna use his effect to reroll. He rolls an eight, a <laughs> block again. Well, that's not in a roll though. Duck was gonna call odds. And he rolls the 10, so nothing happens, so he receives a star. This card goes at the bottom. And now, Jensen's going to roll 7. I'm going to call even again, and he's going to roll... He rolls a 5, so I have minus a star, and I lost the battle this turn. So Duck the Luck is now in his second trigger effect, where he has 4 stars. It's the end turn. Now... 
Okay, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to get the seven right now. So let's see. Come on, lucky seven. Nope. <laughs> let's try again. Come on, lucky seven. Nope. Come on, lucky seven. Nope. Come on, lucky seven. Eventually. Darn it. Come on, lucky seven. Hey, there we go. I got it. So, so I got the roll finally. So I get to minus two stars from my fighter, and Duck the Luck is back in the game when he would have been eliminated so many times. But the odds were against him, and I still managed to roll that roll, which is pretty impressive. So that's all the effects that Duck the Luck has. So that this is what Duck the Luck does. Thank you guys for watching this week's video of New Era G All Stars for Duck the Luck. Uh, next week we're going to be talking about Yasoda of Ivosa. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel, and be sure to check our previous videos to see other characters that you may have missed in the previous videos. So until the next two weeks, take care.